is KCAL News, Los Angeles. Now at five, in-person classes canceled again at UCLA after demonstrations continue on campus. Renewed protests lead to over 40 arrests in a parking garage on campus. Good evening, you're watching KCAL News at five on CBS Los Angeles. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Susie Sa in for Pat Harvey. Thanks for joining us. I'm Juan Fernandez in for Chauncey Glover. Well, it's a story we've been closely monitoring all day long here. Our crews were on campus as a peaceful march happened on campus this morning. That's right. KCAL's Luz Delia Caballero live now with the latest for us. Luz Delia. Well, initially, UCLA announced that classes were to go remote just for today. They have since extended it through Friday. Right now, things are fairly peaceful, very quiet, but earlier, a much different story, starting with the arrests in the morning in a nearby parking garage here on campus, and then protesters going into several buildings, including Haynes Hall, Moore Hall, and eventually Dodd Hall. Students going in, protesters going in with signs in in hand and chanting and later starting their peaceful march. Hundreds gathering on campus to make their voices heard. Free, free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Marching from Dodd Hall down Bruin Walk and ending at Bruin Plaza. Free, free the university moving all on campus classes to remote for the day. The point is to disrupt like the normal functionings of the college campus to demonstrate that the student body like demands that UC divest from weapon manufacturing. This student who wanted to remain anonymous is with the group called Students for Justice in Palestine at UCLA. We do not want to receive an education from an institution that does not put its money where you know its morals are. We have agency over our dollars. Though she says it's also a catch 22. It's hard to like abandon your education in order to pursue what you think is right. But if that's the cost, then I will pay that. UCLA told me to teach today. Faculty members like Nancy Marie Mythlo also chiming in. I am um, a faculty member that believes in freedom of speech, freedom of inquiry. I think higher education is all about debate and robust, vigorous discussion of opposing ideas. Senior Isaiah Davila says while people from the march disrupted his class, he supports their cause. I think that's the point, to disrupt. I mean, every single movement was illegal, so I think it's totally fine. Hours before the march, more than 40 people were arrested after they had gathered inside a campus parking lot. The but that didn't stop students from making sure they were seen and heard. We really want to remind our community that we are here for Palestine, for the people in Gaza and Rafah. And we do want to note there is increased security presence on campus following this morning's arrests. Most main buildings either have barricades on the entrances and or security present at the doors. At this time, it's unclear when these protesters who were arrested will be released and what charges, if any, they are facing. We also reached out to the university asking about whether they could give us more details on these arrests and inquiring about certain claims that some of these arrests were unlawful. We're still waiting to hear back. Reporting live from UCLA, Lustelia Caballero, KCAL News. Lustelia, thank you.